Hey everyone, I'm AJ from Whole Latte Love. In today's video, I'm gonna go over some different tools to help improve the consistency of your espresso extractions. Whether you're a professional barista or just getting into home espresso, chances are you've experienced the frustration of getting a coffee perfectly dialed in, tasting great one shot, then you go to pull another and your flow, timing, and taste are completely different. Proper puck preparation can not only help prevent things like channeling and uneven extraction, but also help you get consistent, repeatable results shot after shot. A quick note, all of the tools and techniques I'll cover today are for standard non-pressurized filter baskets. If you have a pressurized basket, the kind with only one hole on the bottom, also called a double-walled basket, this video doesn't really apply to you. Those types of baskets sometimes come with entry-level appliance-grade equipment, are fit to work with pre-ground coffee or pods, and these tools and techniques will have little effect on extraction when using them. Probably the most important thing to know when buying tampers, levelers, distributors, or other puck prep tools is the size of your portafilter and the filter baskets that it takes. The commercial standard is 58 millimeters, but there are other sizes. For example, many Breville machines come stocked with 54 millimeter portafilters. It's essential to get the right size tool for the job, so make sure you check the website or manual for your specific machine. Note that you may see some precision tools listed as something like 58.5 millimeters. In nearly all cases, these will still fit in a 58 millimeter basket because the actual diameter on most baskets is usually closer to 58.6 or 58.7 millimeters. These high-end tools are designed with tighter tolerances for better performance and less slop when inserted into the basket. They will fit in precision filter baskets like the ones from BIT or IMS. These baskets are machined with cleaner and more consistently punched holes, leading to more even resistance and flow while brewing. On rare occasions, like with older stock Ranchilio baskets, the precision tampers, distributors, and levelers may be too tight. I did check on both a new Sylvia MV6 and Sylvia Pro X this morning, and both my Jack Leveler and Bravo tools fit, so it seems that Ranchilio has solved this issue to match industry standards. If you're just starting out or working on a budget, the bare minimum that you need to compress the coffee in your basket is a tamper. Many home espresso machines come with something that looks like this, a kind of flimsy plastic tamper. If you're investing the time and money to get into home espresso, do yourself a favor and upgrade to something a little more substantial. Whether you're strictly looking for function or buying something nicer to match your setup, there's a wide range of options available. Different tampers can come with different shaped bases, most often flat or slightly convex. I haven't found one to be noticeably better than the other, so the shape you go with largely comes down to personal preference. What does matter is pressing down straight and level. Because you'll be using a bit of force, it's always best to use a tamping mat or station to protect your countertops from damage. The old guidance was to use 30 pounds of force when tamping but it's more recently accepted that it doesn't really matter how much pressure you're applying, as long as it's consistent from shot to shot. One way to ensure this is with a calibrated tamper, like this one from Espro. These have an internal spring that's designed to compress and click when you've reached a set pressure, allowing for more consistency every time you tamp. Take this a step farther and you come to something like this Bravo tamper, which aside from having adjustable spring pressure from 26 to 34 pounds, also features an outer rim, which comes in contact with the edge of the portafilter, ensuring perfectly level tamping across the entire bed. While it is possible to get level application with standard tampers, it's also much easier for those tools to get off axis and tamp unevenly. With the Bravo tamper, it's almost impossible to mess up your angle or pressure, giving you the most consistent results of the bunch. Tampers are great basic tools for compressing your bed of coffee, but can introduce uneven levels of compression, 
which can lead to channeling and uneven extraction if the grounds aren't evenly distributed before tamping. Certain things can help with this, such as a quality grinder that produces clump-free grounds with even dispensing into the basket, a tap or two to settle the grounds, or use of a WDT tool to break up any remaining clumps. But none of these methods alone are perfect. That's where distributors come into play. Most often they consist of a lip which sits on the rim of the basket and a piston with a metal wedge or fins on the bottom to push around the coffee, distributing it evenly and leveling off the surface of the puck before further compression. With some devices, such as the jack leveler here from Also Coffee, tamping isn't necessary, as the geometry of the fins and the depth that you set will compact the coffee as it levels. Others, like the Bravo distributor and leveler, provide two functions in one. By spinning clockwise, the fins distribute the coffee, creating an evenly dense bed of grounds. Then by spinning counterclockwise, you level and polish the surface. Another thing I really like about this tool is that you never have to set the depth. The piston descends at a controlled and adjustable pace due to a vacuum created inside the chamber, thus allowing it to find the perfect depth to groom and distribute the grounds in the basket, regardless of basket size or coffee dose. Because the depth adjustment isn't rigid, it won't compact your coffee the same way that the jack will, so it will require tamping afterwards. But personally, I've never used a more versatile or effective tool for distributing and leveling. Combined with their calibrated and self-leveling tamper from the last section, this combo truly gives you perfect results every time. And there you have a basic look into some of the tools available which can increase consistency and quality in cup. If you have any questions about different options for puck prep, leave a comment and I'll get back to you. And be sure to come back for more of the best on everything coffee, brought to you by Whole Latte Love.